Hi friends, and today new unboxing. Today the main theme will be about wide angles. The first I will unbox my new lens and then I will go through the, all the lenses and will describe why I why why I have a lot of them, when I choose when I use each of them, what is here and why I bought one more wide angle special lens. And I will put this in description here or here. Examples straight from the camera or JPEGs. You can just review, see the sharpness, pixel peeping, uh, and do with this image images you want. Okay, the new lens is coming here. Let's open it. I was dreaming about this lens very long time. Very, very long time. And it's something special. I was waiting a long time. It's la over do, 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 ten millimeters f two point eight and it's auto focus lens. I have a gift. Oh la over, thank you. Let's later to see what's inside here. Okay. La over, how to open? How to open and let's see the package more carefully. Laova FF CND Dreamer autofocus, autofocus full frame, full frame lens, new idea, new fun. Please consider a cycling up the off the side. Oh, yes, the main Nikon Z, perfect. Full frame, 10 mils from 2 point angle of view, 130 degrees, 15 elements in 9 groups, aperture blades 5. They have one more version with manual focus, but more aperture blades. Aperture blades, your circles in the blurred images will be more stunning, more cycle, more rounded. And more beautiful, but I need out of focus. I, later I will describe why. Minimal focusing distance, 12 centimeters. It's a very, very short distance. It is, you can just make like very close up shots of your small items, but with wide angle effect. Filter free, read 17 mils, dimensions and weight. 450 grams and you can buy it for Sony A, Nikon Z, Canon RF and L mounts. Okay, let's open. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's here. Wow. It's like 4053 serial number. I think they made Right now, this count, it's a product warranty. Something in not my language. Manual. Oh, thank you that you write in English too. Lova guys, Silicia Gel. And the main, main, later at the beginning, I will put it on my different cameras and let's see, I hope they will work or we maybe will need to upgrade firmware. Okay, let's put it somewhere here. Wow. Very similar. <laughs> it's I think from my Laova Dreamer here. It's Dede Dreamer. Later I will describe all these lenses. Okay, let's open. Oh, <laughs> this small one. FF2, 
CD perfect and it's it's a metallic feel very good autofocus manual focus just some sticker very good build quality do you like the blue color I don't know but it's very interesting I will put it here 10 mils very wide angle going very smoothly it's very from all my wide angles you can see them here it's very close to Laova this is Nikon F bayonet no or no 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 it's uh, Yes, it's Nikon F. Let's check it. Oh, no, no, it's Z. Sorry, guys. This is Nikon Z Bayonet D Dreamer 15 2.0. But this is much, much wider. And you can see it's a little bit similar from here. Later, we'll describe why. But this is like unboxing. Very interesting lens. Let's see, does it work on my cameras? Straight out of the box without updating filmers. Made in China. There is always uh, like scary thing with not your branded lenses and after some time after firmware they cannot work and then you can need to search for latest firmwares and hope that after 10 years the company will be alive and will produce updates okay let's see autofocus let's switch it Wow, my hand. <laughs> Crazy stuff. I will put more examples. But right now, yes, it's working. Autofocus works. No errors. Everything perfect. Let's put on something old one. Here is Nikon Z7 II. working excellent perfect yes it's working nice one okay let's go through the lenses i have here let's take one by one and i will try to describe oh let's see what here is a little gift Love, love playing cards. They put a little gift for me or for everybody. What is inside? Wow. Yes, playing cards. Wow, nice one made. Oh, with the lenses for photographers, with some bugs. Lava cards. Nice one. Thank you. Thank you, Lava, for gift. And let's describe ah, the first. Why I bought this lens. I'm shooting Gumball 3000. Uh, this year will be maybe like five, fifth time I will be here. And when you are driving, it's 
in gumball all day you are driving in a car in a passenger seat passing through all different cars or they are passing you you are sitting here and through the window you can catch some cars and with wide angle because the cars are very close to you you can shoot them and if you have a very big wide angle you can go in a distance and with a, and you can put a shutter speed one of a tenth of a second and you can get a very good clear shot of the car and the road is like smashed or blurred out and it's optically very beautiful this is why i use such big wide angles and this is the first in the world i will say such big wide angle with a little aperture and with out of focus because sometimes when you are shooting this kind of shots you have you are driving very fast and sometimes you you need you don't have a time or it's too extreme to use manual focus and this is this is perfect lens for that purpose I hope so, I will test it, soon will be gumball, and this is why I bought it. And yes, it is lightweight, out of focus, I can shoot different situations like close-ups, nature, landscapes, interior, because it's very wide, you can shoot a little toilet and make it big like a hole. It's an additional where I use these lenses. But the main purpose is a maximum wide, good aperture and out of focus. And let's go through the, all the lenses. The best from them, if you need just only one from Nikon, it's a 1424 2.8S. It's a classic the best you can get it's a dirty because it has been in a burning man and mountains in such a extreme situations i use it very lot the minus is is the price it's a big one heavy one you can see comparing but it is optically one of the best and more like how to say universal. Nikon have their quality standards, the sharpness and everything else, and different other brands put these standards lower but make something more wider or more uh, aperture opened and you can get something more different compared to the Nikon's this lens. For example, here is two lowest more. For example, this lens is this and this is more, both manual lenses, but this is nine mils, but it is dark, 5.6. We dreamer lowest. This is the same company, Z Bayonet, but the one of the first from Laova was this one, D-Dreamer 15 mils and it is 2.0, it's more wide open, this one of the, was the, the first wide angle they produced on a Z, but it's still manual and it's 15 mils, you can see, you can get very close, but it's a little bit can go through more light with this lens. And if I shoot something like in the darkness, I use this lens because it's 2.0 depending on 2.8. This reason why I bought this one, very good lens, manual, but it's more wide open. 
this is like the most extreme diagonal diagonal wide angle it's not a fisheye and it's nine but it's dark in, in a outside where is sunny weather a lot of light it is very good lens i love it the next is tt artisan but it's fisheye I will say it's 10, 10 mils, 2.8, and yes, the bayonet manual, it is like effect lens, I will call it, like a, you need special effect with fish eye, like fishes, see the pictures, see the world, you can make very close. I will put a fish eyes here, and wide lenses normally, I will put here. This is a, one of the first extreme wide angle was in the market. It's Eurix brand. 11 mils f4. This is was one of the first and it is on DSLR F mount Nikon. Very good and this was like a before you have previous version for DSLRs and you if you wanted some wide angle more wide this was the only option it's I will put it here because it's a F F mount and here is more wide angle with F mount this is Samyang they have a different brands Samyang, Valimex, or some different brands. This is 40 mils 2.8. I use it where there is a more extreme photo shoots. It's a still manual lens, but when I need a little bit lighter, compare it to this one. And if you shoot some extreme with the rock and break your front element. And this is F, F bayonet. Before Z, I have all the Nikon F full frame DSLRs. And this is very close, two mils, but it's a fisheye. You can see it's fisheye. Samyang, the same. I will put a fisheye here. Here is the wide lenses. And sometimes when you're traveling, and you know that you need to go in a big distance by foot and you're counting every gram which you will be holding with you in a bag and this is, there's this reason when you you lose some quality but you have this lens with you because sometimes you you can't take every lens you want you are counting every gram every 100 grams and you need to optimize your weight this is original nikon fisheye 16 mils 2.8 it's nikon f bayonet with auto focus it's from a film era fisheye effect lens and here is one more two lenses TT Artisan Fisheye 11 mils, but this is a Leica bayonet. I have a Leica cameras too, and this is cheap Fisheye effect lens for a different bayonet. You see, here is here is the three different bayonets, like a Nikon Z, Nikon F, and Leica. And the last one, Nikon 20 mils 2.8 manual IS lens for for film cameras. Nikon F, you can use them on DSLR Nikons. And I love this lens because I can put it on my Nikon film cameras. And it's uh, if this is original, and then the, if you want something wider, but from Nikon manual, they are very expensive. This was very, very cheap. I will put it here because it's from Nikon F. And now you can see the whole family of my lenses. A new, new family member here.
let's test let's see if you want full full review of this lens you can just write me in a comment please like to subscribe and i will put a link with some straight of the camera jpegs then you can see download them see in full resolution the pictures and one more trick i just forget forgot about this one fisheye this is something very special you can see here the filters if you are film shooter you can put, there is a lot of problem to put the filters here because of the glass and the Nikon long time ago made that you can screw and put the filters here this is interesting solution in film era people used them for example black and white photography very interesting case use case some brands still trying to do this thing you can put a polarizer inside it depends on the surface of the lens and you see if it's like a wide open the lens is very big and big and huge you see this it's a very very huge okay it's a little bit more like box opening with some description why i'm so crazy and have different wide angles somebody will say i'm crazy because i have the best one but sometimes it's too extreme or too expensive and you can crack the lens and you need different variations of wide angle okay guys if you have questions or you want full review of this lens just write me see you